Today, we are going to examine how to build game theory models of strategic interactions involving perfect information using extensive form games. By the end of this video, you should be able to represent strategic interactions between two or more people as an extensive form game. Like most models, game theory models are metaphorical models. This means that in the model, we do not capture every detail of the interaction between two or more people that happens in the real world. Instead, we only capture those elements of the interaction that are useful to help us understand what the outcome of the interaction is likely to be. In order to fully describe a strategic interaction in a game theory model, we need to know four things. First, we need to know the order of play. Who goes first? Who goes second? Do players move simultaneously or sequentially? Next, we need to know what possible actions a player can take when it is their turn and what they know when it is their turn. Finally, we need to know the outcome of each action and how each player likes each outcome relative to the other possible outcomes of the game. We use payoffs to represent how much a player likes one outcome relative to another. Before we proceed, I want to make a note about payoffs. A player's payoffs represent their preferences about different outcomes. If a given outcome gives a player a higher payoff, we assume that they like that outcome better than an outcome with a lower payoff. For now, all we are assuming is that players can rank order possible outcomes. Thus, they can only say that one outcome is better or worse than another. We are not assuming anything about how much better or how much worse one outcome is than another. We are going to start by modeling games of perfect information because they are the simplest types of games to model. In a game of perfect information, all players know everything that there is to know about the game. In particular, every player knows the order of play, what each player can possibly do at each point in the game, what the other players did at the earlier points in the game, and all other players' preferences about each possible outcome of the game. We will start building our model using a tool called the extensive form game. An extensive form game is simply a tree diagram of a game. You can draw an extensive form game using a tree diagram that you read from top to bottom, from left to right, or even from the center outward. Extensive form games of perfect information have three basic pieces. The first piece of a game is a node. Nodes are used to describe points in the game where players have to act. The second piece are branches. Branches describe the possible actions that a player can choose at each node. The third piece of an extensive form game is the terminal node. Terminal nodes describe an endpoint of a game and list the payoffs to each player at that endpoint. A game can have, and usually does have, more than one terminal node. As an example, consider this simple game. Player 1 moves first and can choose either left or right. Player 2 moves second and can choose either hot or cold. When player 2 chooses, they know whether player 1 has chosen left or right. The payoffs at the terminal nodes tell us how each player ranks the four possible outcomes. By convention, we always list first the payoffs of the player who moved first. Based on this, we know that player 1 likes right cold the best, left hot second best, left cold third best, and right hot fourth best. Player 2's payoffs are listed second. They like right hot the best, left cold second best, left hot third best, and right cold fourth best. We will consider how to solve games such as this one in a later lesson. As you develop your ability to use the extensive form to model strategic interactions, remember this rule. In order for your model to be valid, there can only be one unique path to each node in a game. If there is more than one way 
to get to a given node in a game, your model is not valid. This concludes this video on extensive form games. In later videos, we will study how to model situations in which not all players have the same information and start learning how to solve the games. Stay tuned.